Mike, congratulations. Two for round two here to do World Championship. Eight, one eighty, two top plus finishes. How are you feeling after that game? Well, to be honest, in the first two sets, I, feel, I felt really fine. And then all of a sudden, I don't know why or what happened, but I just started to get nervous. Um, as you probably know, the, the, the attention in Belgium for the last two or three years has been massive. And I think I started talking about that because I've been doing really well the last couple of months and it's, it's been going on, oh, Mike is, is the best Belgium at the moment and, and I tried to block it off but at some point in that game I started thinking about it because everyone is expecting me to, to win and then it was a roller coaster of emotions. You mentioned the nerve there, and Jeff did come back at you well, particularly yeah. in that full set. But how pleased are you able to hold it together and, and close it out? Yeah, of course, it's, it's massive. Like no one wants to go out in the first round, not in any tournament. So to win this game is is, is a really good feeling. You mentioned the focus in Belgium and your improved performances over the last couple of months. You've had some great results on the Pro Tour, great averages. What did you put this sudden improvement down to over the last few months? Um, I've been practicing a lot with my stepdad again, and that's helping me a lot because. If well, he still has a full-time job, but if you <laughs> if he has a day off, he would practice 15 hours a day. So he's a big help in, in what I'm doing in my career. And just finally, looking ahead now to the second round, Metzl Silovic, probably one of the seeds that is most out of form at the moment. So what are your thoughts on that matchup? A real chance for you now? A big chance. Well, I said it just uh, five minutes ago. Menser, it, if it clicks with Menser, he's a very dangerous player, so he can be out of form in, for, for two years and then all of a sudden he's there again. So I'm just going to hope that I play a bit better than this and, and we'll see. Cheers, Thank you. Mike, congratulations. You must be delighted with the way 2022 has gone, some big performances and you're moving up that ranking safely in the top 64 now. It's been a real breakthrough year. Yeah, yeah, yeah it has been, uh, especially on the, on the floor tournaments and the pro tours. Um, I always had a problem with uh, TV and, and stage and big crowds and I even had troubles on the streaming boards in, on the Pro Tours but now I, I can block it off at, at some point. Has it been a relief that you've come here for once not fighting for you to keep your tour card yeah, or anything course. like that? Of course, it, it's been a massive release. Uh, relief, sorry. Um, last year I was I said I wasn't thinking about it, but automatically you get it from some persons and, and, and it still gets in your mind, but now I'm just free and, and do whatever I want. So. You're on the up and you've obviously spoken about darts in Belgium being huge and are you the best Belgian right now? So Dimitri's not playing his, his very A game as we know. Have you got one eye on gate crashing that Belgium World nah, Cup team? I'm just doing my thing. Like, um, if I get up the rankings and if I have a good run here and I get in the World Cup, it's fine. But uh, Dimitri and Kim, they've been doing well the last couple of years. Uh, Kim and Ronnie has been doing well. well. We'll see in the end. Is this an all-time high for darts in Belgium at the moment? With the players that are coming yeah. through, you doing your thing, Dimitri winning TV titles, is it an all-time high? Yeah, of course. The, uh, since 2020, um, a big t TV channel in Belgium has been broadcasting all the tournaments, and that's been a lot of um, there's been a lot of attention for us, for me, Dimi, Kim. Uh, that's been a big big help, of course, it has. Um, Mark, you say about the spotlight and everything going on in Belgium at the moment. The fact that you're having a run here and got a chance in the, the second round. That's good for you as well, not just Belgian darts. Yeah, of course. Um, uh, we have uh, six Belgians and one half Belgium on tour now. Yeah. And there's three Belgians on the World Cup, so uh, on the Worlds. So I'm glad I'm in the second round. Hopefully I can get one further, so we're all three in the last 32. Yeah. Last, six, last 32. 32, yeah. So we'll see. Do you feel like coming into this tournament, as opposed to previous years, you're in better form, you've played well this year, you've, you've got a good chance. Yeah, I've, I've improved a lot this year. Um, um, my average went up a lot, I played some good games, reached my first semi-final on the Pro Tour. Yeah. So yeah, I'm in a, in a good shape. Uh, this game was a bit up and down, but hopefully the next game I can show what I can do. Perfect, cheers Mike.